This, this event is very important to us. We've been attending this event for a very long time. We appreciate all the work that goes into this event, allowing us first and foremost to have a forum, to have robust discussions with our customer, the Spanish Ministry of Defense, as well as other partners around and our industry partners here locally. Uh, but also, of course, to showcase our products, make everybody aware of what we can bring to their sovereignty, uh, defense, uh, and security. And that's really important to us too, that we can benefit our partners in their security. Well, we have a lot of great products to showcase. First and foremost, we're talking about the Spanish MOD, Spanish Air Force particularly has our MQ-9A Reaper. So that's a product that we continue to support. That production is coming to an end as we speak. We've delivered over 575 of the MQ-9As, but we're moving into now the MQ-9B you see over my shoulder, MQ-9B Sky Guardian or Sea Guardian you, say, you hear about. Uh, that's primarily how it's kitted. It's the same airplane, MQ-9B, as the airplane. It's just how you kit the airplane is what it's called. Our launch customer is the UK uh, Royal Air Force. Uh, you may have heard they just issued their first full military type certificate for the system. We're very proud of that. A robust certification basis for the aircraft. Uh, that distinguishes this airplane over other uh, UAVs, RPAs. Uh, additionally, this airplane, the MQ-9B, is designed to be uh, integratable into national airspace. That's very, via TCAS, ADSB, full sense and avoid system with a radar to detect other aircraft. And we've expanded the weather capability of our plane. Not all weather, nothing's all weather, but we've expanded the weather capability with full de-ice, anti-ice capability, uh, lightning protection, uh, et cetera, tested for all cold water operations. We expect to be operating in the Arctic shortly with our Canada. And that customer base has grown from UK, Belgium was the next customer, and then following that, Canada ordered 16 airplanes. You've heard about India ordering 31 airplanes. Poland just signed a contract. And also, additionally, we have customers in uh, Asia Pacific. Japan is acquiring the MQ-9B. Finally, one important thing that's developed here uh, this year is we are in negotiations with NSPA to uh, have an overarching agreement that any customer in NATO Europe that has a service agreement with NSPA or signs a service agreement can acquire and support MQ-9B via that service agreement. With NSPA and around the world, we've developed what we call the Sky Guardian Global Support Solutions, which is a cohesive support for our customers, combining all the efforts, all the commonality of the system across our customer base, giving us a much lower cost uh, and much more efficient sustainment for the systems. So I think that's gonna work really well for our customers. Finally on MQ-9B, it's a multi-domain operation platform. Uh, it's got an open architecture that allows us to integrate many of the payloads you heard about or see, uh, including a 360 degree maritime radar, full NATO SIGINT system uh, integrated within the wings of the aircraft uh, and other payloads from our partners here in Europe and around the world, including EOIR, cameras, state of the art, and maritime radars. So we're very excited about that. Yeah, uh, Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCA, as you said, uh, is an exciting opportunity for us. We've been developing uh, that AI and that autonomy for some time on our MQ-20 Avenger. Uh, so that development of approximately eight years has led to this opportunity with the US government to develop Collaborative Combat Aircraft, the first aircraft being the YFQ-42 Alpha, as you probably heard in the press. Uh, very exciting. We're in uh, in actual low rate production right now, so it's not development airplane anymore. It's actually a production representative airplane, and we're in low rate production for a lot of testing with the U.S. government. That CCA is going to provide affordable mass to our users, both the Air Force and, as you said, into our, our foreign partners as well. A cost effective, a lot of mass of, of weapons in the air for the fighter uh, capability. Additionally, in the future, we have other versions of it. We'll talk about, I'm sure, sometime in the future. Our Gambit series, if you will, that'll provide other versions of the airplane for all our partners around the world. But yes, the conversation is open to our foreign partners. We've received a lot of interest. We're engaging with the US government to pair up that conversation. Obviously, a lot of it is uh, the Air Force wants to uh, manage all that. We're partnered with the Air Force and all our partners to give them that capability. I think it'd be important not only around the world, but specifically here in Europe.
quadratics? Yeah, quadratics is our enterprise or system-wide suite of software that not only command and controls the airplane, but also command and controls all the sensors on the airplane uh, with a standard user interface across all those sensors. So no longer do we have third-party vendor GUIs that we use, it's a common system across that. Additionally, the key to this system, we could put the best airplane, the best sensors airborne in the world, which we do, but the key is turning that into actionable intelligence. So other parts of our Quadratics software suite is um, a system that allows us to correctly disseminate the information, acquire it, combine it with other information, process it, and exploit it with all the tools that are available in our software suite, including, of course, machine learning and AI tools that allow uh, the personnel uh, load to be lessened, i.e. you can do the job of your uh, process ped uh, a lot easier with a lot less people. So ah, I'm glad you asked. Yeah, we also uh, are in development for a kit uh, that's being developed for the MQ-9B, which we already talked about, maintains its full capability. So what we do is we have a kit that will replace the wings and the tails and the propeller on the airplane in, in high level terms, that is a high lift wing that provides real short takeoff and landing capability for land. But most importantly, many of our partners have large deck amphib ships, including the Juan Carlos Primero here in Spain, that we believe is a perfect fit for integrating on and off these big deck amphibs moving forward. And that provides them a full robust ASW capability. One thing I didn't talk about earlier is we've developed ASW pods for this airplane that allows us to dispense Sonoboy pods and onboard integrated inside the airplane is a Sonoboy monitoring control system that allows us to process the tracks, link them down, and also send those out via Link 16 to the wider uh, usage, including MPA aircraft, et cetera. So that's really an exciting opportunity that's coming for, and we're looking forward to talking to all our partners throughout the world and integrating that capability on their ships.